Alright guys, this is Philly X with Confident Gamers, still here at Play NYC, and I am here with London Slap Game, and this is Francisco, and we're here to talk about Lamplight, which is out now, or is it... Next month. Next month. Next month. Alright, and it's on, so I'm, um, like, right on Steam? Steam, uh, GOG.com, and... Combo? I'm not sure yet about that, but yeah, definitely Steam and Alright, okay, so let's tell me a little bit about Gundam Slap Games, and then let's get to Lamp Life. So, Gundam Slap Games is basically just the name of my... me. It's me. I mean, it's I'm a solo indie dev based here in New York. Um, and yeah, Lamp Light City, uh, I've been working on it for the past uh, two years and change. It's a point and click uh, 2D, as you can see, detective game. Um, and basically, it's a detective game where it's okay to fail. Um, so kind of the, the, the what I try to do a little differently is uh, in most detective games like you know L.A. Noir or the Sherlock Holmes games, uh, the game actively pushes you towards the right solution. Yeah. And so what I wanted to try doing with Lamplight like City was have you my my goal is to make you feel like a detective. So it's possible to get things wrong. It's possible to accuse the wrong suspect. Uh, the game is divided into five separate cases, which each have different outcomes. And you can either be the best detective in the world, get everything right, you can be the worst detective in the world, be a jerk to everybody, get everything wrong, or somewhere in between. But the game will adapt to that, and even if you get stuck, even if you close off all your leads, you can just declare the case unsolvable and move on to the next one. But of course that will impact certain things in the game. Okay, interesting. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't know if I've gotten far enough to get any part of breaking decisions making yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I like games that butterfly effect where you know one decision leads down to another path. That's right. awesome. How does um are you able to get achievements and you get achievements for going down certain paths? Yeah you do. Um, I there is about forty two Steam achievements and wow. also GOG achievements. Uh, but yeah, what I like to do with achievements, uh, as far as like in narrative games, I know a lot of times it's easy to just be like, oh you got an achievement, you completed chapter one. Like, yeah. So uh, I wanted to have achievements related more towards things rewarding you for like trying to sort of off the beaten path things. So in order to get all the achievements, you're going to have to play the game at least three or four times. Oh, that's so good. yeah. Awesome. That's that's good because that, that makes more more gameplay for the game, more life for the game. So right. not just play once and you're done. Exactly. Yeah. And now the look and feel of of Way of Light seems familiar to me. It's it's. Are the developers also have they worked on other projects projects as well? Or? Uh, yeah, I put out. Uh, this is my third uh, published game. Uh, the first game I made um, four years ago was called The Golden Wake, and okay. it was about a real estate agent in the 1920s Miami. Um, and I, same as with Lamplight City, I did all the art and, and animation and everything, and writing and design all that. Um, and then I made another one called Shark Light uh, two years ago, which the art was done by someone else, but the writing and design. And yeah, it's it's definitely a similar look as far as like the low resolution pixel art. Uh, this game is actually 640 by 400, as opposed to 320 by 200 in the other two. Um, but yeah, like I very much, I mean, two reasons. One, I like the look of it. Like I'm very into the whole, you know, low res 2D look. And second, as a solo dev, it's easier to, I mean, it's not easy, but it's its easier to produce the art in a reasonable amount of time as opposed to, you know, if I was doing like super high res or 3D yeah. or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like the, the animations are rotoscopes, so like I filmed the animations and it's like a very primitive motion capture. But um, I, I mean, I just, uh, as far as like the look of it, I was very inspired by like Victorian artists like John Atkins and Grimshaw. I wanted to make you as a player feel like you were in this world and you were walking around this like pretty Victorian esque yeah. world. So. I think it was um, Shard Light. Yeah. That's the game. I played that one. Cool. And that's, that's what reminded me of that game. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, so you say next month? Yeah, September 13th. All right, so people, if they want more information, head to. They can go to lamplightcity.com. Okay. They can, you can wish list it on Steam. I'm sure there'll be a page on GOG eventually where you can also wish list it. Uh, or you can follow me on Twitter at Grundis, at Grundislav Games and I, I post about this game all the time. So. Alright, awesome. And do we have any more games in the future to look forward to? Yeah, I got two games in my head. We'll see how long it takes until they get out. Yeah. I understand. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so yeah, much for being with us. I really appreciate thank it. You.